Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Jordan and we're going to discuss round 14. The buys are over. Uh, my hair is gone, which is not good. And I don't have access to a computer at the moment because I don't have a laptop and I have a desktop and we're painting the house. So um, everything's unplugged and I'm sitting on furniture outside right now. But we'll talk about round 14 anyway. Next week we'll, we will be back to normal. So I'll do like a normal video. Hopefully the painting gets done by then, which it will. But um, I'll just talk about this week. I scored around um, 1,953 to be exact, and I'm ranked about 300, so that's okay. Um, Crips obviously helped me a lot, but um, I had Grundy captain, wrong choice, and um, had 19 starting, so that definitely helped. And the buys are done, so that's good. Don't have to deal with them anymore. And we should be looking at finishing our teams. I did trade in Trelaw, I killed him. So I'm in trouble now. I, if I want to finish my team, I will have only have two trades remaining. So that is not ideal, and that is um, that is a huge problem. But it's fine. Um, we just need a bit of luck. Because at this point, if one of our rucks go down, I assume most of us do not have cover for rucks. If one of our rucks go down, that could be a forced trade. Um, even if they miss a week or two. I mean, if it's they miss a week, it's a hold. If they don't. They missed two weeks, you might look to trade, so... Anyway, we just, um, that hasn't actually happened for me, so... It could happen, so that's why we need trades, for things like that. R rarely do Ruckman play 22 games, usually around the... Even the durable ones play 21-22. So get straight into the agenda. So first, Josh Kelly. So this guy, he's played um, two very weak teams, but he scored very big in both of those games. Looks to be over that groin. I'm still not going to go near him because of that groin. I'm scared of it. I'm scared it's going to flare up. Um, so I won't touch him. But um, if you did pick him, it's looking pretty good for you right now. But that's just how I play. If I, um, if a guy has a groin injury, I'm not going to pick him. It's just, it's not ideal and it's a, I see it as a risk. I'm not sure the level of risk because he looks really good right now. But it's not something I would do. If you want to take that risk, then that's fine. But it's just not how I play the game. Now, Sean Higgins, now someone mentioned this guy to me in the comments, I think last week, and I said, no, he's never been a premium. A couple of years ago, he was like the meme for injuries because he was always injured like every year. But he's been pretty durable, I think last year and this year and the year before maybe, I can't remember. I can't check that right now, but um, he's been, I know he's played a lot of games. So um, I said no because He's scoring, I think he was averaging like 100 and something. I didn't realize he had an injury affected, like a, he got knocked out earlier in the game. So his average is probably like 110 or something. This this completely slid by me. I do remember, remember watching him on AFL 360 and just you can tell by the way someone looks. He's just like an ultimate professional. He's like his hair's perfect. He's married, now he's got a kid. He's got his own business. And like these are like... As a man, like this is the sort of guy I want to be like, that I look up to, so... I'm very impressed with this guy, super impressed. Will I bring him into my team? Um, probably not, but I think he could be an option. Um, I'm not sure, the players I seem to trade in at the moment all seem to get injured, so... I don't want to kill Higgins, he's had enough uh, injuries in his life, but... I do... He's a star, he's now an All-Australian contender probably in the team right now but it's just one that um, I didn't really look into too much I didn't realize he had the injury affected score where he got knocked out so I like Higgins but um yeah he's been very good but yeah I'm not gonna bring him in though now Adam Trelaw this looks really bad I think we have to trade here I'm not sure how you do two hamstrings at once could be related to a back issue because it's very strange to do two back uh, two hamstrings at once Unfortunately, I think we've got a trade here. I don't think we want a $540,000 premium on the bench for the rest of the season. Um, I'm trading him, trading him to the king. And um, I still have three trades left and um, can upgrade one more player. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do there because I'm not sure if I want to just play Fritch for the rest of the season. Um, but anyway, I'm going off topic. That's just for my team. But um, yeah... And anyway, Trelaw has to go, that's the point. Now, Harris Andrews, I think he has to go too. 
They were saying on April 360 last night, or on the couch, um, he has internal brain bleeding or something, and that could be a season potentially anywhere between two to three weeks and the entire season. Um, it's a nasty injury. Apparently he was like vomiting um, a day after the injury. So really bad for Harris Andrews. So hopefully he's okay, but unfortunately he has to go. Um, I'd, I'd be shocked if he came back within a month. So he has a really serious injury. So hopefully he's okay. But yeah, he has to go. Now just on the rookies, as you know, before that, Jesse Hogan. So I brought in Jesse Hogan, probably a, not a hit, but, but a miss from me. Um, he's not playing that role that he was like get, getting, he was averaging 22 disposals in the first couple of rounds. He's not really playing that role anymore. Um, we've seen Fritsch is playing less deep and Tom McDonald is um, probably more of a target than Hogan now. And um, Hogan, sometimes he plays deep, sometimes he plays wing. They're just shifting him all, shifting him all over the place, and he doesn't really have a. I don't think he has a um, full-time role at the moment. He's just um, filling some holes. I think I'm not sure, but I'm going to hold Hogan. But um, I think it's a luxury trade if you want to trade him in. He does have a soft draw coming up, but then he has a really tough final four games. So I'll be holding him. So um, if you have the trades, I don't see why you shouldn't. I mean, you could trade him in a couple of rounds if you want, but. Anyway, see what happens. He seems a bit low on confidence too, which is not a good sign, but um, I will hold him. Just thought I'd add that on Jesse Hogan. Now the rookies, Josh Battle from St Kilda at forward. I think he's a good option. I think he should play. I know Nick Rewalt said that he should play. Um, yeah, he's looked really good, really competitive, getting involved. Wouldn't expect big scores from him, but um, he's probably the most likely to keep playing games out of the rookies that we want to bring in, him and Ahern. Oh no, Ahern's already gone up, so you missed a button on Ahern. I'm sure most of us have him though. And another one, Dawson from Gold Coast. I kind of like the look of him. Um, not a big scorer, but a bit of an, an accumulator in the NIFL. Um Been in the Gold Coast Academy for a couple of years. With GW, um, Gold Coast players, Stuart Dew likes to give all the first, uh, first gamers a bit of a run. So he might play three or four games and then get dropped after that, but I think he's good for a couple games. So I'm going to bring him in because he's so cheap. He's a 102 midfielder, and um, I do yeah, I do like the look of him so far. I'm not confident he's going to hold his spot, but for the short term, I think he will hold his spot. That's all from me. Um, would have liked to do a proper video, but I can't. I just figured out that I can upload um, videos with my phone, so no editing here or anything. Otherwise, I would have done this on um, Sunday night. But, oh well. Anyway, I'll see you guys Sunday night. And we'll do a proper video. And, um, yeah, good luck this week. Hopefully, we nearly finished our teams.